Guys, it's really hard for you to imagine, considering recent history, a politician that has had a worse week than Chicago Mayor Lloyd Lightfoot. Okay, as you guys remember, she started off the week uh, with some anti-white racist comments, uh, basically saying that she's only granting interviews to uh, non-whites. <laughs> okay, and she got eviscerated by the conservative media she also got eviscerated by those on the democrat side those that still have cojones like tulsi gabbard who for whatever reason i don't understand why she's still a democrat just go ahead and join the dark side tulsi just become a republican please just do it but um it, it, it's well deserved it's well deserved because Lori lightfoot really defines the democrat party it, it, it really does it, it's all talk and just hypocrisy that's what the democrat party really is and um it, it just continues to get worse for her a lot worse for her okay Let, let's start with uh mask okay you know as we know the, the cdc has eased guidelines on um you know mask mandates and stuff like that particularly for fully vaccinated americans but uh a lot of businesses are going off uh honor system and even her own state of illinois has eased those guidelines but yet you know lori lightfoot says that we need more guidance from the cdc right she wanted to double check with the cdc she wanted to double check the science just to make sure and just to take precautions she came out and said that she will continue to wear a mask in public right because she wants to send the right message <laughs> however lori lightfoot was caught caught red-handed doing something that again i think defines the whole democrat party and i'm not surprised to see whatsoever as there's a video that came out of her smooching with the elites masculus okay and there's so many different aspects of this video but i'm gonna play it first and then i'm gonna get my commentary on it and we're gonna talk more about uh <laughs> the backlash that miss lori lightfoot is getting because i'm telling you man People are really starting to come after her and they're really starting to see through the fake that is Lori Lightfoot. And guys, before I get in this video, I just gotta make it clear, just like any other video that I make regarding this subject matter, uh, I'm not making any claims about masks, I'm not making any claims about the pandemic, I'm not making any claims about the virus, uh, I'm not making any claims whatsoever. I'm just trying not to get a medical misinformation strike. This is a video about public policy and public policy only. I'm not making any claims. So as you can see, that is Miss Lori Lightfoot <laughs> right there, <laughs> maskless, at a party for the elites. And look, it looks like the, um, I don't know, the server that they have there is wearing a mask. Okay, so she's there. Let's continue playing a little bit more. <laughs> and that's her out partying, right? Partying, enjoying life, living her life, maskless, okay? She feels the need to live her life maskless, but tell her constituents something else. Not only that, look at who she is talking to. She's talking to a white man. <laughs> She's talking to a white man, okay? And again, guys, I personally don't have a problem with that whatsoever, okay? You talk to him if you want to talk to, but again, this goes against what Lori Lightfoot has been preaching to us, okay, about the evils of the straight white man, and I'm assuming that this man is straight, uh, he may or may not be, I don't know, um, I don't know who she hangs out with in her elitist circle, but again, you know, it's just another example of the hypocrisy of the Democrat Party, it, it reminds me of Nancy Pelosi, uh, when she went out there and basically mandated that the House continue to wear a mask. Uh, it is unfortunate that a large number of people in the Congress have refused to be vaccinated, or I don't know what it is. I don't know refused or, or have been vaccinated and don't want to admit. I don't know what that is because I shouldn't know. It's it's their personal business. Uh, but until they, as, as the doctor said, until they are vaccinated, we cannot have uh, meetings without masks. And then after this, they're seeing all the Democrats together at the White House with no mask on. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's like, bro, talk about sending mixed signals. But again, this is just par for the course when it comes to Democrats. It's the same thing when Nancy Pelosi was caught in the middle of the pandemic, peak pandemic, when, when the science wasn't as developed, when everybody was being extra precautious, going to a hair salon. When she advocated for the shutdown of businesses. But no, Nancy Pelosi had to get her weave dead. Okay, she had to get her hair dead. Okay, rules for thee, but not for me. And, and again, guys, this is how the elites in our society roll. Okay, S subject the masses to rules that are not subject to the elite. And this video right here shows exactly how the Democrat Party rolls. They are elitists. The rules don't apply for the elite. Again, like I said, look here in the back. The person that looks like she's the server is wearing a mask. And everybody else at the party, uh, you know, as you can see here, there's some two lovely ladies in the back here. They happen to be black. They're not wearing masks, okay? And they're probably a part of the elitist club as well. Again, directly in contradiction of what they try to tell you about race in America, right? Directly in contradiction. The elite are the elite regardless of your race. Keep that in mind when they're talking about the race conversation, okay? Um, <laughs> oh, man. But anyways, that is not all when it comes to the backlash that Lori Lightfoot is getting. Because, again, the conservatives ripped her a new one, rightfully so, for her racist comments. Now, she has people on the left going after her for her job performance. And I love to see this because she's been a terrible mayor for Chicago. Terrible mayor. And even those on the left are saying that, you know what, you woke, but being woke is not getting the job done as hundreds gather outside of Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot's house to slam her job performance. So let's read here. Hundreds of protesters gather outside of Democratic Chicago uh, Mayor Lori Lightfoot's house Thursday to express their disapproval of her job performance. More than 300 demonstrators swarmed the area around Lightfoot's residence, many of them hoisting signs giving her an F grade on issues such as education, COVID-19, police reform, housing, and other things, according to Fox News. Many of the attendees posted footage of the event to social media under the hashtag two years too much, which is a reference to the two-year anniversary of her mayor uh, inauguration as the city's first female black mayor. Quote, it's not enough to be black. It's not enough to fe be female. You got to be right, said Tara Stamps, who works for Chicago Public Schools. And Miss Tara Stamps is exactly right. That's what conservatives have always been saying, right? We've always been saying, listen, regardless of your race, it's about policy. It's about opportunity. It's about the economics, okay? That's what it's about. It's about America, guys. This is why, you know, I'm America first. I'm American first, Okay. I'm an American and I love America, right? And I would like to see the lives of all Americans improved because regardless of your race, most of us are not elite, okay? We're not elite. We just regular old folks, okay? We just regular old people, right? But again, that doesn't apply to uh, Miss Lori Lightfoot. And you can see here, even uh, the protesters are outside of her house uh, <laughs> chanting uh, F Miss uh, Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> So these people outside of her, her uh, house saying F Lori Light Foot. And just so you guys have more context, um, this is the teachers union. This is BLM. These are all types of um, more left-leaning organizations that are doing this, right? These are not really right-leaning organizations. This is the same person who agreed with all the protests and violence in the streets when it came to, uh, you know, the police issue. And now... Look, the Super War revolutionaries have turned around and started protesting her, okay? They weaponized their protest and turned it against her because of her terrible job performance. Again, I cannot imagine a worse week for a politician than what Miss Lori Lightfoot is going through. But it doesn't end there, folks. It does not end there. As even the Chicago cops has issued a vote of no confidence to Mayor Lori Lightfoot. So... The people are against you and the police are against you too. <laughs> this is crazy. 
says, uh, Chicago's Fraternal Order of Police issued a vote of no confidence in Mayor Lori Lightfoot Wednesday, citing poor work conditions and the cancellation of a march for fallen uh, officers due to the coronavirus pandemic. The vote by the police union, as well as police superintendent David Brown and First Deputy Eric Carter was unanimous among as many as 200 active and retired rank and file officers the chicago tribune reported reasons cited for the move uh reportedly include uh officer burnout and the department's decision to cancel off days for officers on several occasions as well as move from eight and a half hour shifts to 12 hour uh work periods in preparation for possible unrest in the city the symbolic uh, action also followed the second uh, consecutive year that the Chicago Police Department canceled its annual St. Jude's uh, Memorial March for the city's fallen cops while citing the COVID-19 pandemic. <sighs> guys, guys, guys. Quote, the basis for this no confidence vote is pretty simple. It's two folded. Uh, FOP President John uh, Cantazara said in a video statement, it's a lack of respect for the Gold Star families and the cancellation of St. Uh, Jude's Parade. Wow. And guys, this picture right here is the Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown, right? Again, black man. Okay, black man is saying this. A black police chief. And you guys, you know something that I've noticed? In all these uh, incidents with police, a lot of the people that are running these police departments are actually black men and black women. For as much as they want to say policing is systemically racist in this country, uh, a lot of these police departments are being ran by black people. They really are. And I think that's what a lot of people forget. A lot of black people are police officers, guys. Right? And again, despite race, this dude right here is calling it like it is. He's saying that, listen, Lori Lightfoot has done not done enough to support us. Okay? Especially in a city like Chicago. A city like Chicago that has such high crime rates you need to support the police you need to make sure they're not overworked because they have to deal with criminals and thugs that are causing destruction not just in the black community but also for everybody for all americans okay and when you don't support those people when you demonize them when you take this far left approach this is what you're going to get this is what you're going to get regardless of race and i love to see it i love to see it constructive criticism based off actual job performance not race i love it i love to see it that's what america actually is it's nothing wrong with constructive criticism now again like i said guys i mean this is well deserved uh for miss lori lightfoot and uh it, it's just amazing to see how uh the walls are closing in on her and people are figuring out the fake that is miss lori lightfoot and like i said at the beginning of this video guys this just defines the, the Democrat Party, okay? They're all about virtue signaling. They're not about any action. It's rules for thee, not for me. They are the elite, okay? And they're going to try to play the masses against each other. They're going to try to play the American people against each other while enjoying the riches of being a part of the elite class. So, you know, I think that Miss Lori Lightfoot uh, probably is going to have some issues when it comes to be reelected. And she probably won't be in her job for too much longer. As it seems obvious in the situation, her wokeness cannot save her from actual job performance so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace